Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. I know, I am so sorry. I am behind on the purchaser pass videos. I did not mean to do that. I've also have just been off my YouTube game lately. I don't know what's going on with me, but we're finally back. I'm sorry. Hope you forgive me. Because I missed the May purchaser pass, this video is gonna be a long one. We have so much merch to get through. We have May and June combined, and it's already July. I don't even know. I feel like every time I am like, okay, it's time for a purchaser pass, I realize I'm already in the next month and then I'm just like behind. So, anyways, if you're new here, purchaser pass is essentially where I go through all of the new, well, not all, but I go through a lot of Disney merch to let you know if I'm gonna purchase or if I'm gonna pass on it what my thoughts are on everything. If you're interested, make sure you guys like, make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm gonna try and get back on track so you'll get two in the month of July, essentially. It's gonna be so much fun. As always, if there's something that I don't like that you like, that doesn't mean you have bad taste, it just means you have different taste, and that is okay. Anyways, if you see me sweating throughout this vlog, it's also because it is like 100 degrees outside and I'm literally melting, so I'll be drinking lots of water throughout this video. We have Halloween merch, we have Christmas merch, we have Tiana merch. I don't even know where to begin. I think I'm going to start off with a bunch of new ears that were just released on Shop Disney. These blue ears, they have two different versions. They have a Disneyland version and a Disney World version. And they are essentially like marquee ears. They have like a gold like satin bow. And then we also have like the Disneyland or Disney World marquee. I actually have a pair that are really similar. I have like the Disneyland marquee ears that they did a couple years ago so i definitely don't need these as well however i do love the disney world version of these which is very rare for me to say you guys know i don't usually love the disney world logo but i think because they use like the actual marquee like sign when you're entering walt disney world i think that's a really cute touch and i think i like it better than the disneyland one because it's less colorful so I do love the Disney World pair and I think like if I took like a Disney World trip, I may want to get these. Um, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing these, but I do think they are really cute. Okay, slay Disney. Honestly, Disney has been popping off. I'm convinced they watch these videos. Like I am so convinced that they tune in to the purchaser passes and they're like, we know what the girls want. I mean, I like to be delusional sometimes, but the way they've been popping off lately, I'm like, I don't know, maybe you guys just hired a new designer. I don't know. Something's different about the merch. Next, we have these Groot ears. These are so cute. I don't need them, but these are cute. They're like a cream pair of ears with like blue satin trim, a blue satin bow. We have Groot all over, baby Groot to be exact. And he is just so cute. Like I said, I don't need these, but I think if you're a big Groot fan, like these might be some of the cutest Groot ears they've ever done. I think one thing I may change is like the blue trim around the ears. I'm usually not a huge fan of like different colored trim for the most part. Sometimes I make exceptions. I think maybe that would be like the one thing I would change. These are available on Shop Disney, by the way. I guess now it's called DisneyStore.com if you guys are interested in any of these. Next, we have a new pair of Loki ears. These are really cool as well. Um, I do think their other pair of Loki ears that they did originally just like resemble the character a little bit more. I mean, these are really cool because they are a little bit more muted. I don't really like this bow. Like I just think the bow kind of ruined it. I think these look better without a bow, but they're not bad. They're really not bad. I don't want them, don't need them, but they're not bad. Not bad, Disney. You are... Like, I have nothing to say about him, besides I don't like the bow. Next, we have Cruella de Vil ears, and once again, I'm not mad at it. Like, yes, they're crazy, um, two different colors, but I mean, Cruella's crazy. She has two different color hair. Like, like this is literally Cruella in a pair of ears. Um, one puffball is black, one puffball is white. We have a white bow with some Dalmatian spots, like... I think these are cute. If you love Corella that much, I don't think I want these. I'm glad they didn't do like a red bow because I probably would have hated it. They did like red on the inside so you can't even see it. Like, I have nothing bad to say. Like these would be cute for Halloween, like a cute little Corella bound. If you're into like Disney villains, like I feel like this is cute. Next, we have a pair of Tiana ears and these I actually have, so I'm gonna show them to you. But they did come out with a bunch of new Tiana merch for, I wanna say for the Tiana ride, but I mean, it's not Tiana ride specific. So I think it's just for funsies. I have them and I'm gonna show them to you. I did buy them at Disneyland recently. I do need to do like a Disney haul because I feel like I've accumulated a lot recently. They're so pretty, like the shade of green 
is like the perfect shade of green because it's more of a muted um, green and the other ears that I have are a, little, a lot brighter so they're harder to style but I feel like these like kind of like an army green kind of shade so cute and then you have um, gold and you can kind of it's like raised I don't know if you can tell but like you can feel the gold it's not like printed on I guess this is like a plasticky but I love that you have the crown so pretty like ugh, I love they did they really did their thing with these honestly I feel like I'm never usually mad about the Tiana ears maybe I'm biased but I feel like they do a pretty good job in general when it comes to Tiana ears specifically so yeah I do really love these these are that girl next pair of ears that they did were Rapunzel ears and I'm just a sucker for princess ears especially when they do it right and these are so cute like look at these are you kidding me these are actually going to be available on shop or on disneystore.com on July 5th I think this is going up on July 5th so hopefully you were able to get them I am going to post about it on Instagram so hopefully you've been keeping up with me there oh, I need to fan myself really quickly I'm literally sweating these are so pretty oh my gosh okay so on this side um, obviously they're all purple satin material. Um, we have the gold sun. We have a little Pascal. I love this gold detailing around here. On the other ear, we have pink ribbon, like her little corset and like the bow, like that's so cute, girly. And then we have a little stripe bow, gold bow, and then we have the um lace trim which is so so cute love rapunzel so much and i feel like she doesn't get a lot of merch and i think this is the first pair of rapunzel ears ever and they nailed it like they really did i am very proud of you disney for getting it together and i honestly think like if you're not a bow girl like these would be so cute without a bow because you can really see like the design but i'm keeping the bow okay i love a bow look at how cute it even looks so cute with my outfit so maybe i'm gonna wear these for the rest of the video there's a new donut collection so i guess i'll go through the entire donut collection but specifically a new pair of ears um and they've done pink donut ears before i think before they did a blue bow yes and now it's pink so now i kind of feel like i need them i did see them at disney and i didn't buy them because i felt like i needed these and the tiana ones a little bit more so i told myself no but i am going back to disney this weekend so maybe i will get them again i think they are like a plasticky kind of material so they're gonna be a little bit heavier on your head these are from like their disney eats kind of collection that they've been doing lately um i love these i love that they're all pink the pink donut like they honestly look so good um and i love the sparkly bow literally no complaints like i'm telling you they've been killing it lately i mean the sphere jersey is not my favorite but i also am biased because i don't really like spirit jerseys in general maybe not the yellow i don't think the yellow was a good choice for oh there's also fireworks going on because it is the fourth of july i do wish that the disneyland part was cream instead of yellow the yellow is not my vibe but the cream is really cute so we love that. It is a matching lounge fly, and the lounge fly I'm gonna pass on. Not my favorite design. I mean, it is like a pink Mickey donut on the front, but I think that's what ruins it for me because I love the pink straps. I like the cream base. The, the sprinkles, the sprinkles are a bit much, so definitely would skip over that lounge fly. The next few ears I'm gonna show you are Tokyo Disney ears, which I mean, I think you can already guess they're all gonna be really cute because they nail it pretty much every single time. These are pink sparkly ears, a pink like a uh, chiffon looking bow with strawberries. It doesn't get much cuter than that. Like why can't we get that merch over here every time? Like this is so cute. Like the strawberries, are you kidding me? These these are a little crazy okay i'm not a big fan of like wearing anything other than ears on my head essentially um and so this looks like it's a chip or no dale dale because of the red nose plush in a cup in a teacup with the strawberry on the other side like that huge dale i don't think i could do it however the little strawberry kind of gave me the idea of like if they made the strawberries bigger and it was like two strawberries. Like that could be cute. Like a cute little Lotso vibe, you know? Go to the chip. That's that's a little much for me. So I would definitely skip over those. Not really my vibe. Speaking of Lotso though, they did do a pair of Lotso ears and they added a little birthday hat with a strawberry. It says that this is from Shanghai Disney. So I think it's only there. 
but I feel like that's cute for your birthday. Um, once again, I'm not a huge fan of like things looking crazy in the middle of your ears. I usually just stick to a bow and that's about it. But like they're not, yeah, I, I don't want these, but they're cute. E. You know, they're kind of cute. We also have another like birthday. Oh my, I'm sweating. Oh, not okay, not okay. I'm gonna open my window, but I feel like window's just gonna give me like hot air. Like, I don't even think it's gonna be cold. Hopefully, it's not too loud. I'm melting, you guys. And I'm trying to talk as fast as I can, but I ramble too much next we have another pair of like sequined ears it looks like it was like pink it's like ombre so there's like pink blue yellow purple all throughout it has like little embroidered mickeys which are really cute and then the bow is pink with like these little pom-poms i feel like these are like another birthday ear kind of vibe i personally don't i'm not like dying to have these but i do think they are really cute and i love that they did like pastel colors like you know me if they're pastel i'm probably gonna want them they're just so pretty like even though they are there's like a lot going on because of the pom-poms the mickeys the ombre the glitter like there is a lot happening but because they're pastel like it doesn't look like too much you know like if these were like bold colors i would probably throw up but this is really cute i had to pause and order food because i feel like the heat is making me extra hungry right now <laughs> so i need to eat something they are like a really pretty blue like aquamarine kind of blue and they're obviously sparkly which we love a sequined and then it has like this iridescent bow which the bow reminds me of like the Sony clover bow when they did ears if you know you know and then on the back it has like little starfish and seashells on the back these are so cute and these are like the cutest summer ears like I feel like our summer ears are always like it's like bright green bright yellow there's always like some sort of like lifesaver tube thing that are like the ears and it always has like a mickey on it like i just i'm tired of it okay this is cute this is how you do summer ears and i need these actually these are so pretty gives like mermaid vibes i don't know i feel like you could do like really cute aerial outfits with these i love them chip and dale they're wearing like sunglasses and they have like little lifesaver tubes on them um little ears don't like those as much definitely love those sequin ones though those are so so pretty tokyo disney also has like inside out customizable plush headbands that is so cute and i'm so surprised that the u.s parks didn't do that because they did recently come out with the customizable mickey and friends headbands which they need to restock by the way but since they did that i would have assumed that they would have done also like an inside out collection because inside out is like the disney movie of the year i think um so i'm like really surprised they didn't do that because that is so cute and i feel like it would have done really well um like the envy plush is so cute like oh she is so cute anxiety is scary okay <laughs> anxiety is a scary looking character i definitely would not want her on my head but yeah i don't know i'm surprised they didn't do that take a break from ears we're gonna get into clothes because there are so many new tees and sweatshirts that have been released and they've been popping off actually this one i just saw today this was released in disney world i feel like disney world usually gets everything first a black quarter zip sweatshirt the front it has sorcerer mickey on it and it says magic crew on it and then on the back it also has the it has the Cinderella castle and it also says magic crew I think this is so cute and I'm really curious to see what the Disneyland version one is or what it looks like I feel like they've been doing a lot of Sorcerer Mickey merch maybe because Fantasmic just came back to Disneyland so maybe that's why but they've been doing a lot of Sorcerer Mickey um so we'll get into a couple more items soon I think that sweatshirt is really cute and you know I'm always gonna prefer the Disneyland merch more more often times than not i choose disneyland over disney world merch so i definitely want to see what the disneyland one looks like but yeah pretty cute design next we have this new pink t-shirt it says park days are the best days and it has just like a lot of i want to call them emojis not emojis like little icons um that represent the park like a little carousel horse it has tinkerbell the castle uh california adventure incredicoaster um so really cute I don't know if I love I think the green is really ruining it for me I think if it was like blue yellow white and pink 
I think I would have liked it a little bit more. I definitely don't need this tea. Could I see myself picking it up? Maybe because it's pink. But it's not something that I'm like dying to have. Or Fantasmic, like I said. Um, this is for kids, but I mean, you guys know I love a kid's tea. Um, except not this one because it's bright red. Um, but it is a fan, or not Fantasmic. Sorcerer Mickey. And it says Magic Club on it. I mean, these colors aren't really me, which is why I don't really love Fantasmic merch usually. But I do think it is cute if you love red and blue honestly this would be cute for fourth of july if you like celebrating fourth of july or like being in patriotic it's really fourth of july today and this is what i'm wearing so not gonna be me but i do think it's a cute design i can appreciate it it also gives like a vintage vibe and i think that's why i think it's cute like a lot of the phantasmic stuff has been giving or not phantasmic i keep saying that a lot of the sorcerer mickey stuff is giving vintage and so i think that's why i'm also gravitating towards it next we have this t-shirt which i did buy on my trip you guys follow me on TikTok, and I've already like shared the tease on there. And it's also gonna be like in the upcoming um, Disney vlogs, which I haven't edited yet. But there's this pink tee which has like the different icons for the parks. Well, I don't know. It has like different icons, so it has like Space Mountain, not Space Mountain. Yes, yeah, Space Mountain. Space Mountain, the pirate ship, the Disneyland Castle, it has Dumbo and Matterhorn, and then it just says Disneyland on the front, but then on the back it says the magical checklist, and it's so cute. It just has like so many things that you need to do on your Disney trip, which I think is adorable. It says the happiest place on earth, it says Disneyland, and that is just the cutest t-shirt ever, so I definitely had to pick that up. There was also this t-shirt, which I didn't end up buying because I didn't love the front of it. It was like very plain. I really wish this design that's on the back was on the front, and I think I would have liked it a little bit more but it has just like little like snack icons and they just look like drawings they're so cute um and i love it i love it so much little pop of purple at the bottom with the disneyland it's really cute design like i just wish it was like on the front and i think i would have liked it more we have a ariel t-shirt and i love the design of ariel and flounder like i love that design i feel like it also once again gives like that vintage disney vibe I just wish it wasn't on tie-dye like if it was just a plain if it was just white I would have loved it or like a cream or a purple I don't know I just don't love the tie-dye I never really like things that are tie-dye it's really sad that they didn't do that because you guys know I love Ariel and that vintagey vibe is so cute so yeah they miss me with the tie-dye so definitely skipping over that one but not a terrible design i feel like it's cute i honestly think it would be a cute as like a swimsuit cover up so we have another sorcerer mickey tee um this one is really cute like i love it and i usually don't like designs that have like a square background but i feel like this one is like thin enough and subtle enough it doesn't like pull your attention too much. Sorcerer Mickey is definitely like the star. I do think I would prefer it though without those little square boxes in the background, but it's not a bad tee and I think they did a pretty good job. This is the most positive purchaser pass video I think I've ever done in my life. I don't know what has happened over at Disneyland, but like overall everything is like objectively good. Like I can't even deny it i'm looking at everything i'm about to talk about and like yeah there's some bad things but like it's so like it's like not even like terrible you know next we have a disneyland tee and this one is also kind of giving vintage disney it has like the disneyland castle and it looks like the uh, like fab five are projections on the castle which i think that is so cute i love that they look like projections i think that's really cute it has like lots of fireworks um and it says disneyland like i think it's a cute tee i don't need it next we have these t-shirts so for pixar fest they had like a bunch of different booths that they were doing like food booths that you could try so they did two t-shirts and i'm kind of sad they didn't do more t-shirts like a t-shirt for every single booth like i would have been interested to see what those look like they did one for the four town booth which i love the purple i do wish it was like a different fabric like i don't like this like speckled purple type of fabric that they did so i feel like a different fabric would have been better town favorites it has the four town members and the panda in the back then the back of it is really what i love like, i love the stars with the hearts and all the members like that part of the shirt is so cute don't love the panda at the bottom 
I feel like there could have been another way. Like, I think if they would have just done the stars with the four town members, with the hearts, like that whole design on the front, I would have purchased immediately. I don't love the front of it. Like, that's just not really, I don't know. Like, I just don't want, like, the sign of the booth, you know? But if it was just, like, the stars and the hearts, like, that would have been so cute. So, like, I feel like it's not a bad tee, but I feel like they just missed the mark a little too much. And it could have, it could have been so good. A little bit sad about that one because I do love, like, the concept. They also did one for the hangar management booth. The front, once again, has just, like, the sign of the booth. And then the back has, like, a huge design of anger, which I feel like if they would have done that anger design just on the front like i feel like it would have done better especially for inside out 2 like i felt like anger was low-key the star of inside out 2 like he was like m one of my favorite character i think next we have this disneyland tee and it has mini on it i think there's a mickey version and i just can't find a photo of it but there is a mini one it looks like it's more of like a not pink but more of like a peachy muted pink mauve almost and it has Minnie in her little polka dot outfit looking super cute I definitely don't need it I wish it was more of like a pink and then I probably would have wanted it but like this like salmon-y I don't even know what color this is but whatever this color is not really my favorite I'll have another pink tee but this is tie-dye this would have been so cute where it says feels good to be home with a little castle but without the tie-dye like if you would have just made it white or just like a pink or a cream I would have loved it also have this new like Tomorrowland t-shirt and I actually saw this collection um I want to say in my trip on my trip in May it's like an orangey very retro orangey blue white kind of collection they have a full-on collection I feel like it's really cool for Tomorrowland like I love the concept I feel like I can appreciate it not something that I would wear because I don't really like orange but I do think it's a cool design. I could see people really liking this collection. I feel like it matches Tomorrowland very well, but not in like a chuggy way, you know? Like it looks well thought out, in my opinion. I think it's a really cool design. Um, I don't need it, but very cute. Next, we have this Princess Fest t-shirt. T-shirt itself, I don't like. Like the design is cute. I like that all the princesses are on it. Like we love the princesses. And I like that... Um, like, Aurora is not in her pink dress. She's actually in, like, her other dress, which is fun. I like seeing princesses, like, in their secondary outfits, so that's really fun that they did that. I like the little bottom. It says, touring at a castle near you. Like, that's really cute. I just would never wear this t-shirt, so skipping over that. I did actually buy this t-shirt, and I know I just said I didn't like that acid wash, but this one's different, okay? This one's really cute. It says, the most magical place on earth. It has a little icons, which... This is essentially what I would have wanted that snack t-shirt to look like, is have like the icons on the front. Like I just feel like it would have been a lot cuter than on the back. And then actually the most magical place on earth, like the wording is actually embroidered, which is such a cute touch. So I have this t-shirt. I love it. Um, like I said, I am going to be doing a haul soon and you're also going to see it in the vlogs coming up. Super cute t-shirt and Disney Slade. Next we have this t-shirt, which I'm a little crazy. It's a Cheshire Cat tee. Um, it says Magic Club. So... I'm wondering if this Magic Club is an entire collection because it's also like the Sorcerer Mickey Magic Club stuff. So I wonder what else is in this collection that we haven't seen yet. Because I feel like it's weird to just do Cheshire Cat and Sorcerer Mickey. Like that's so random to like have like a collection based off of them too. So I wonder if there's going to be more coming soon. It has like the exact same Magic Club design with the Cheshire Cat. I mean this color is just, she is something. I mean it, I know it's a Cheshire Cat color but just no absolutely not like i feel like we can just change it up a little bit you know with the teal and the yellow like this has to be my least favorite design that we've seen so far i just i don't like these colors like i literally could never wear this so skipping over that this one also i feel like is another design i just don't like this is a stitch t-shirt and i feel like the concept is really cool having stitch like super big in different areas like on the front and the back side i just don't understand why they would do this green color behind the blue of stitch like i just feel like that is not cute at all like i feel like just a plain white would have been good i feel like the green makes it kind of hard to even see stitch so that's a very interesting to choice and then i also don't love this like yellow that's happening so definitely skipping over that 
those fireworks oh my god it scared me the Pirates of the Caribbean zip up and this is actually really cute usually not a fan of Pirates of the Caribbean merch I feel like a lot of it is kind of boring but this one is actually really cute I love Heather Gray like Heather Gray is like my favorite when it comes to like sweat sets sweatshirts um i just love it i just think it looks so cute it says pirates of caribbean pretty small i think it's a really cool concept i'm not sure if it's something that i would buy but low-key this would be really cute for halloween time because it's like a skeleton you know it's really cool i don't definitely do not need it but um it's not bad i think it's really good for pirates of caribbean like really really cool design next we have these two crew necks in two different colors so it says disneyland resort it has a terry cloth castle and that's where you lost me with the terry cloth like, why couldn't it just be a castle like why did you have to make it like textured like that i don't know very interesting it says the happiest place on earth at the bottom it comes in orange like a burnt orange which Burnt orange could be cute for Halloween season. Do I want it? No. But if you like burnt, burnt orange, like that's like a perfect shade of like subtle Halloween, if that makes sense. And then we also have a cream color, which I definitely love the cream color a lot more, but I don't, I really don't like the terry cloth. So I'm definitely skipping over that because the terry cloth is a no for me. Next we have this Disneyland sweatshirt, which I did buy. Ingrid um, picked it up for me when she went to Disneyland. It is a really pretty pastel blue color. It has pink Disneyland writing. And then it also has two Dalmatians, which is so cute. I feel like there's never really any like Dalmatian merch in general. And then especially not pastel girly colors like that is so cute so we got matching sweatshirts on our most recent trip because we have issues and it is like a really thin material so it's like good for like the summertime like summer evenings definitely would not keep you warm in the winter time so if that's what you wanted it for i would say don't get that it's definitely a more like thin it's like a thinner material for sure i've been talking for like an hour i think next we have this yellow zip up which ingrid did pick up i did not get this one i do love the yellow color i just don't love the like colors they used for the design itself feel like the really dark blue disneyland and then they also did like a purple castle like i don't know i feel like they should have done like white or gray something a little bit more neutral the colors are a no for me but the pastel yellow is so cute like i would have gotten it if it was different colored text and stuff but it does have mini on it which i do love mini and the front has like the exact same design just like on the front it's also like that same kind of material as the dalmatian one next we have this peter pan hoodie which i think this is such a cool design i do wish the colors were a little bit different i don't mind the black i just wish it wasn't blue like i think if it was white i would have liked it a little bit more even like a gray would have been cuter this like really bright blue i just don't love or maybe if it was bright blue on a white sweatshirt maybe i would have liked that better i get that they wanted it to look like evening sky but sometimes we just got to make sacrifices to make it look cuter you know what i mean it's cool i don't need it i don't want it but yeah i think it's cool that peter pan is getting merch because i feel like there's never any peter pan merch next we have a bunch of the same sweatshirt in different colors it's really simple it just has a castle it says disneyland um happiest place on earth since 1955 we have a green we have a pink we have a blue and a gray um i don't know these just are just so simple like i think it's cute if you like you know haven't been to disneyland ever in your life and you're going and you needed some sort of merch to take home sure but yeah i don't know i don't love i don't love at all so i i don't know it's just not doing much for me and not adding anything that i don't already have I also have a sweatshirt that says dark industries on it i think this is really cute very simple i do think it might be too high up like i feel like it should be more like on the chest area so interested to see what that looks like on i really don't buy avengers merch usually because i don't really like the color so the fact that this is just black and white i love that and it's really simple like it doesn't have any characters on it it just has dark industries so i really love the simplicity of it i just think it might be a little bit too high up i don't know but very cute design vera bradley just came out with a collection which this might be my favorite vera bradley collection i'm usually not a huge fan of like their all over prints they just came out with the cinderella collection and it is 
like this satin material and it's quilted and it just looks stunning. It has Cindy on the front looking very beautiful. It looks like it has a lot of embroidery. There's even a little bow on the strap, which I think is really cute. There's also a backpack in the same kind of style. Very, very pretty. I don't think I need either of these. This little coin purse, that is really cute. Like, I kind of want that. It just has her shoe on it. And it has little embroidered, like, stars and pearls. Like, it's so pretty. And, like, the really prettiest shade of blue like i really love that i'm not a fan of that all over print they did do a couple of things like this backpack a little purse and a duffel not a fan of that print just don't really like all over printed designs but this like silvery kind of collection they did very very good Mm hmm yep that's definitely their best collection i've ever seen along with the tiana ears that they came out with there's also a new dooney and burke collection I'm also not a big dooney and burke fan i feel like it's very rare that i come across a collection that i absolutely love i've never actually purchased anything from them but i feel like this collection is actually kind of cute like i like this baguette bag i don't think i would get enough use out of it because it is green and it's also 250 dollars and i just don't I can't justify spending that much money on something that I'm never going to use, maybe once ever. I think I would skip over that, but I think it is a really cute design, especially because it has Tiana in her flapper outfit, which I feel like that outfit doesn't get enough love. So there is like a tote bag, Tiana in her green outfit, and then there's also a wallet. So not getting any of these, but I do think um, it's not bad. Not my favorite though. Yo Disney has more really cute things um they have like this straw bag with pearl mickeys on it are you kidding me that is so cute i do wish the style was a little bit different because i'm not a huge fan of like bucket bags like this i don't think i own a single one but i think it's a really cute concept like the pearl mickeys like why hasn't our parks done more things with pearl mickeys like pearl mickey ears come on let's do it please There's also this okay this is what i really liked um, it's this mini bow and it's a really pretty pastel pink shade and it has a pearl handle like that is so cute I'm not sure if it's big enough to like wear as a shoulder bag But I think it'd be more of like a bag that you just kind of hold on your wrist. So cute. So so cute Speaking of Tiana, there's still more merch. I did film all of this for a vlog at Disney. Stay tuned for that vlog um, I go through literally all of this but pretty much I skipped over all of the Tiana merch besides the ears and some jewelry pieces There is a blanket which I thought was really cute. There is a pillow. I just don't think I would ever get a pillow in that color frog prince book which i feel like we've seen before i don't know maybe i'm going crazy but i for, for some reason i feel like this came out a couple years ago and then there's also this tiana crown i'm not really sure what it is and i honestly couldn't figure it out when we were there either so i don't know what this does it is her crown anyways we skipped over it there is some jewelry um there was a necklace some earrings and the bracelet I ended up getting the necklace and the bracelet i love the little lily pad i think that is so so cute and of course the fact that it's gold is just so pretty so that's when i ended up buying from the tiana collection but like i said i am showing you guys everything in an upcoming disney vlog barefoot dreams came out with a couple of things um for 626 day and this is actually really really cute um they did a blanket which this is so cute it's an angel blank blanket it's really like muted purple very very pretty colors barefoot dreams i feel like usually does a really good job with their disney designs everything is always so so cute and i love angel she's just adorable i don't think i'll be buying it because i definitely don't need more blankets but i do think it's adorable I also did some plushes so we have an angel and a stitch plush i definitely do not need either of these but that angel one yeah she is so freaking cute i do love it very cute collection overall and it is available on shop disney if you guys are interested very similar to the tiana collection we also have an aurora one which the aurora one did come out first it has like this necklace holder type of thing um when you open it it does have like three fairies on the inside which is really cute i definitely don't need this i feel like i like my storage that i have for my jewelry there is also a an aurora blanket which i definitely don't need i do wish it was like more pink instead of like this purpley kind of background so skipping over that there is an aurora pillow in her blue dress which is cool because i feel like you never really see her in her blue dress once again i just don't need a character pillow like that um i never would get one i did get this jewelry tray so it is a crown a gold crown jewelry tray and i think it's really cute it's gonna be really cute on my dresser so um i can't wait to like open up 
open that up and like set it up with all my other jewelry kind of accessories and i also think it'd be really cute like displayed on my shelves so i feel like it was just really cute it's just simple you know just gold there is also a mirror which has little like critters in the corner which is really cute definitely don't need that either but um very cute collection overall since inside out recently came out a ton of new merch there's a plush for every single character i skipped over all of these because i just don't need more plushies usually i don't love pixar merch for the the most part because their colors are always really crazy there's always just so much going on and it's just not my style at all Inside Out is no exception like literally every character of Inside Out is a different color so you just know the merch is just gonna be all over the place so there is a hat I mean I would never wear that um there's also a lounge fly a wallet um a notebook there's just too much happening a little believe in yourself pin is cute the all over print t-shirt i thought was really cute i did try it on though and it didn't look good on me when i was at the park so skipped over that toys and pins you know just like the classic disney stuff skipping over pretty much all of the inside out merch from the parks at least i did find cute stuff on amazon though just kind of have to look around i feel like the disney parks inside out merch just like usually isn't my favorite there is a new disney lounge fly that was on a cruise I'm not sure which cruise you can get this on but i think it's a really pretty design it honestly reminds me so much of jasmine it's like a jasmine jasmine tealish blue color um it does have like an ombre kind of effect and then you have gold um little designs a gold bow very very cute don't think i'll be picking this up just because i feel like you need to be on a cruise in order to get this but yeah i just feel like it reminded me so much of jasmine it honestly reminds me of like the new jasmine ears that were recently released we're gonna look at some joni clover um and then we'll do the halloween merch and then we'll finish this video off with christmas hopefully you're still with me hopefully your snack is great my lunch is getting here soon it's literally been over an hour that i've been filming this joni clover came out with a 626 stay collection so stitch but it's only like accessories so they did come out with this sweatshirt which i'm obsessed with and i definitely want it i was at disney when it dropped it's still available online so i think eventually i will pick it up i just haven't made the purchase yet i think it's so cute for summer i love the really pretty pink color that they did um and then it says ohana and like this airbrush kind of design it has the lilo house and then it has little stitch in the corner and then at the bottom it says means family. So like Ohana means family. Probably one of my favorite stitch designs I've ever seen in my life. Because usually stitch merch just like isn't the cutest in my opinion. This is just so cute. Like the little subtle stitch at the corner. Like that's the way you do it, Sony. Like they just know. So very cute sweatshirt. And then they also came out with these patches. Which I really loved the angel patch. And the heart patch with angel and stitch in it. However, I just couldn't figure out what I would put on them. Which is why I didn't make the purchase so i don't know like if i can come up with something then maybe like i just really wish they would have done like an angel fanny pack and i would have purchased that you know i don't know if i'll be getting any of them um but i think eventually i will pick up the sweatshirt because it is really cute i did wish that they would have done sweatpants same with like the alice sweatshirt like i wish there was a matching pair of sweatpants i just like a full set so i'm kind of sad they didn't do that let's get into some halloween merch start off with tokyo disney actually because they, I mean, it's not technically Halloween, but it is a Haunted Mansion headband, so, you know, kind of the vibe. It is black, and then it has kind of like the little ruffle crown kind of vibe with a bat. Just like eyes. I don't know what those are. On the, it kind of looks like the wallpaper kind of print. It is really cute. Um, I don't think I need this, but I do think it's cute and different for Haunted Mansion, so adorable actually disney parks announced some really cute haunted mansion ears and i'm like shocked because usually with haunted mansion i'm never really a huge fan of their merch because they always do like this teal and purple combination last year i think they did like a neon green and i was like what is happening so it's very rare that i buy haunted mansion merch because i'm very particular about it but these ears I will be buying. These are so cute. It is a wallpaper print, but it's black on black, which I love. We also have a bow, a black bow, and it looks like Ma Madame Bliota is in the center. And then it has black lace around the trim. So cute. I will be purchasing. Thank you so much. It looks like they will be coming out with a spirit jersey as well. Um, it is a black 
a kind of tie-dye spirit jersey and then it has like a blue kind of logo on the front which is cute i don't need a spirit jersey so i'll be skipping over that but the ears i for sure need and i'm really curious to see like what else comes out in this collection because so far they've got me they've got me hooked next we have this disneyland crew neck which is a black crew neck and it has mickey and like his little skeleton outfit i just think he looks so cute i'm not sure if i need it i feel like i have to see it in person to kind of decide but yeah i mean i like that it's simple it just has like a huge mickey on the center it's not like a bunch of different designs on one i love just like a simple colored crew neck i'm not sure if i need it but considering it for sure there's also this tie-dye thing and this is like really bad not my vibe it is like a yellow orange bright color tie-dye printed t-shirt and then it says walt disney world on the back in purple like what is happening and then it looks like mickey is like running away like the back side of mickey i'm not sure what the front looks like because there's no photos of the front but at least that's what the back looks like and that's all i needed to see i'm not buying that that is not cute my food is here mm. Mm -hmm. we're back um let's continue there's some new oogie boogie bash merch usually not my kind of merch um because oogie boogie is like a neon green so we just already know we're gonna really like anything that he's on for the most part definitely not when he's on tie-dye mm -hmm. yeah that's gonna be a no from me yeah don't have anything to say besides i don't like neon green with purple and black I mean, do you see what I'm wearing? It's not really giving that. Maybe I should put my ears back on again. Skipping over that, I mean, I think you guys already know this. Like, I love Halloween so much. My birthday's the day before Halloween. So I'm a Halloween girl, okay? But I usually don't love Halloween merch because it's always dark purple, orange, and black. And then Disney loves to do neon greens. So I usually just don't really love it. And I usually skip over 95% of the merch. Unless they do like a burnt orange, then you can kind of get me. But for the most part, I don't love it. More Haunted Mansion stuff. So lots of purple, you know, their favorite. Um, a lot of purple wallpaper stuff. We have a quarter zip sweatshirt. Um, there's also a dress with like a little collar. It's like a black t-shirt with like the purple wallpaper print on it. And all over printed button up which is just black and white, which I like a little bit more than the purple items, um, which is kind of cute, but I will be skipping over all of these things. There is, however, Nightmare Before Christmas sweatshirt, and it's gray, and I think this is pretty cute. It has Jack on a sled, and it's just gray and white. Like, that is... All I could ask for in merch and it looks like it does have Disneyland on the sleeve which is cute so this is like subtle Disney like can we make all of our Halloween merch like this just gray and white you will get me as a customer a million times over probably the cutest thing that we've seen so far is a Jack Skellington like striped shirt that's a lot of stripes for me um I don't mind the stripes I don't mind something striped but this is just a lot of stripes I mean I don't, I don't it is a lot a lot a lot um it looks like there is like a little pocket with jack kind of sticking out which is cute also came out with a haunted mansion backpack it's a teal color which you already know i don't like teal with black on it. it looks like the black is velvet i don't know if i made that up but it kind of looks like it could be fanny pack same design essentially like a teal color with a lot of like black wallpaper print all over and it does have like the hm it looks like the size would be comparable to like a stony clover jumbo fanny pack don't love these colors though like i wish they would have done a different color you know if they would have just done like the black and gray mm -hmm. or like a black on black that would have been cute but the last piece of halloween merch that we're gonna talk about mickey pumpkins which i do have a mickey pumpkin already um they have a mini size and a large size but then they also did a mini one and she has a purple bow and I think that is so cute. She has her little lashes like that is really cute. I'm kind of sad that I have a Mickey because now I'm like I wish I had mini with a bow. These t-shirts, mm -hmm. yeah I think I need them. They are so freaking cute. They're matching tees in a heather gray which you guys know I love heather gray. Mickey and a mini version and they're ghost Minnie and Mickey and it says my boo isn't that so cute like you could wear it like matching with like your significant other 
But like, I low-key just want the Minnie Mouse or like the Minnie Ghost for myself. I've never seen Disney do Ghost, Mickey, and Minnie before. So like, I need this and I hope that there's more merch with Ghost, Minnie, and Mickey. Like I want them to like really go full out with the Mickey and Minnie merch. They're already out, so like I definitely am gonna try and find the Minnie Mouse one for myself. The very last t-shirt that we have is an orange t-shirt, which is already available in the parks at Disneyland Resort, and it has Lightning McQueen, and he has like little vampire fangs. Very cute, don't love orange, so I will be skipping over that for sure. It's cool to see Cars Halloween merch because I don't think we ever have before, at least not from the park. But let's talk about Christmas. I think it's so crazy that we're already like halfway through the year. Isn't that so insane? I like can't believe it. Snowman Mickey pillow. I definitely do not need this. I'm a little Santa. I mean, it is cute. I just don't need it. I do have a plain white Mickey pillow, which I did get from Shop Disney and I do love that one. I definitely don't need like a snowman Mickey version. Um, I also don't love the collar or like his scarf colors. Yeah, not a fan. I mean, that's another thing is I love Christmas so much, but a lot of the times I don't love the merch because it's all like green and pink or not green and pink, green and red. It's really hard for me to like love the items because they're always just so bright. Like sometimes I'll do it, sometimes I'll buy it just to be like be in the holiday spirit, but I don't usually love red and green combos. Skipping over that, there is also a pair of Hanukkah ears, which I believe they're a re-release. Like I'm pretty sure we saw these last year, so interesting. Next, it looks like we have some fun sweatshirts. If you look at this like really tiny photo that we have, there's a cream sweatshirt and it just has Santa Mickey on the front. He has a red hat. That is so cute and I need that sweatshirt. Like that I think is the sweatshirt of the year for Christmas merch. And I just feel like the girlies are gonna go crazy for it because it's just so simple and it just has Mickey's face on it. And it's a neutral color. Like I need that. Yep, I definitely need that. There is also a pink sweatshirt. I think it's called Fair Isle, Fair Easel print. It's just like stripes of like different patterns, I guess. I have two different versions. There's a green and red version and there's a green and pink version. The pink one I definitely love more and it obviously has mini on it, which is really cute. So I feel like I'm going to end up buying that pink sweatshirt and that cream sweatshirt. Green and red one is definitely not for me. I don't like those colors. And then on top of it, like the crazy print is a lot. Like the only thing saving the other one is the fact that it has pink in it because if not I probably would not buy it because it's just too many colors and patterns happening at the same time. There's also a red sweatshirt which kind of looks like it has sparkles in it. It has a Christmas tree in the center and then it has Mickey and Minnie like decorating the tree. Let's skip over this because last year I bought a dark green sweatshirt which has like a very similar design kind of feel to this and I prefer green over red for sure. So I'll be skipping over that and then plus I'm buying those other two sweatshirts so we don't need that one. We also have a spirit jersey and there's a blue acid wash tie-dye printed spirit jersey of course and then it has Mickey and Minnie at the bottom. I really like the artwork of this. I feel like they do this kind of often. Skipping over that, I also don't like spirit jersey so... Moving on. New pair of ears. We have these green leather ears. It looks like it has Mickey Christmas light. They don't light up, but they're just like printed on and there's a gold bow. Not my favorite pair of ears. I definitely have more than enough Christmas ears I already love. So I need to be super picky about the Christmas ones that I buy this year. And I just don't think I love these that much. So skipping over those. Looks like they're also bringing back the snowman Mickey ears, which I did buy last year. So that is cute. If you wanted those last year, they are coming back. They are also bringing back the Santa Mickey ears, which they looked really weird on me, so don't like those. Also bringing back the Mickey bucket hat, which I love. And then they added this elf baseball cap. And this might be like the worst design of the entire video because what is this? Who is wearing this? Like what like why would you put a hat on top of another hat that makes no sense like I feel like the hat would have been better on a pair of ears not that I would want an elf hat on my head anyways what 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 yeah mm -hmm. that one you guys can keep it's probably gonna be in the Disney outlet very very soon I, I don't know a single person that would buy this what is this like this is actually like one of the worst designs I've ever seen like why would you put a hat on top of a hat? 
no girl that's enough for me we have this new jollywood nights collection which is an event that they do at disney world it looks like they're pushing this gingerbread man i'm not sure who he is i'm not sure if that's something that they usually do let me know Jollywood nights little bag it's a no for me i just feel like the gingerbread man should have ears you know like why would it who is this man i don't know him and there's also a pair of ears which the ears are cute if they also wear Mickey's. I also don't like the middle. I do like that they have little bows though on him. Like that is really cute. That's a really, 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 really cute. I do like that. Doing like that same Fair Isle print, green and red. And I'm so sad because I like have my fingers crossed and I hope that they make a pink version because I want the pink version. Now that I'm looking at this closer, it looks like the sweatshirt is also not a sweatshirt material. It's more of like a knitted sweater, which I love even more. Like that is definitely the vibe. And the ears are also knitted with like a fuzzy bow. I just, I hope they do a pink version because I just don't like the green with the red. And there's some more Hanukkah stuff, like a blanket. There's a mug, which I think is really cute. It looks like there is red hoodie that is coming. It has like a Disneyland castle. It kind of looks like it's giving Candyland with like the pathway that they're on, which I think is really cute. I just don't love red. So skipping over that, there's also a long sleeve t-shirt which is white. I appreciate the all white background. Minnie and Mickey, once again, I just don't love the artwork about a lot of this collection, so I'd be skipping over it. I feel like the concept is really cute with just the white. And then there's also this other t-shirt where I'm just like, girl, what is even happening? Like, no. And doing way too much more than it needs to be doing. I think that is all. We finally made it. If you watch it to the end, I want you to comment a little mouse emoji just so I know you made it to the end because I love you so much if you really did sit through me talking for this long. Like, this is insane. Let me know if there's anything that you guys would be purchasing or passing and all of your thoughts. Like, these are literally my favorite comments to read. I mean, a lot of us, like, are on the same vibe and we're just like, what is that side eye? I mean, in general, I feel like most of the merch is pretty good these past two months. I don't know why, but... Let's keep it this way. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I promise there will be a July purchaser pass. I'm not going to skip this time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.